According to Frontlish Adsorption Isotherm, which of the following is correct? X by M is proportional to P naught, X by M is proportional to P to the power 1 and X by M is proportional to P to the power 1 by N. So what is the correct option? And D, it's all the above are correct for different ranges of pressure. Now let's check out. How are we going to solve this? Now what does this Frondlich adsorption isotherm tells us? Now, the variation of adsorption with pressure at a given temperature can be represented over a small range of pressure by Frondlich adsorption isotherm. This is just a statement. Now what it suggests? It states that I'll just write the formula X by M is equal to KP1 by N. Right? Now where N is greater than or equal to 1. Now in this case this type of adsorption isotherm is obeyed by the gases where there is the gases are adsorbed and they form the mono molecular layer that is single layer right on the surface of the adsorbent now what happens at low pressure now what is x here x is the amount of gas adsorbed amount of gas adsorbed What is M? M is the mass of adsorbent. Then K, what is K and N? They are the constants for a system at a given temperature and P is the pressure. Right? Now at low pressure, what happens? the adsorption the adsorption varies directly with the it's directly it varies directly with pressure right at low pressures that is at low pressure if you are increasing the pressure more is the adsorption why so because higher more is the pressure lesser is the volume so if you increase the pressure of gas what will happen the volume will reduce and so adsorption will increase Right? This is the case at low pressure. Now, at high pressure what will happen? See if I have taken some platinum surface and I am trying to adsorb hydrogen gas over it. Now if I am increasing the pressure of gas at low pressure, say in initially, what will happen? Pressure is inversely proportional to volume. Now if I am increasing the pressure of hydrogen, adsorption will increase. Right? Why so? Because in order to decrease the volume. But at high pressure, what, what will be happening? If we we'll go on increasing pressure, it can't happen that adsorption is increasing, increasing and increasing. At high pressure, this adsorption becomes independent of pressure or it attains a steady state. Right? So, if I am plotting a graph between X by M and P, so initially there is a direct, it is directly proportional. Right? So initially the adsorption varies directly 
then it attains a steady state right if you go on increasing pressure it has to attain some steady state it can't happen that you are going on increasing the pressure and still the adsorption is taking place right now in this case say here at low pressure x by m varies directly with pressure right now here it has attained a steady state that is x by m that is the extent of adsorption has become independent of pressure and somewhere in between the extent of adsorption should be proportional to p to the power 1 by n that is it can be anything right so in the intermediate range of pressure at very low pressure the adsorption varies directly with pressure at high pressure it becomes independent now in an intermediate range of pressure of pressure what should happen x by m that is the extent of adsorption adsorption will depend on what p that is the pressure raised to the powers powers between 1 and 0 that is say it is proportional to p raised to the power 1 when it is initially at low pressures at high pressures it is proportional is independent of pressure so it's proportional to p to the power 0 but in the intermediate range it will be somewhere between 1 and 0 so the small range of pressure that can be written here is x by m is equal to k the constant p to the power 1 by n that is any any number between 1 and 0 so it it, will, it is fractional right so what is the answer over here fronlish adsorption isotherm x by m is proportional to p to the power 0 or the independent of pressure at high pressures right p to the power 1 at low pressure and p to the power 1 by n intermediate range of pressure right so all the above are correct for different ranges of pressure